Well, you're watching and listening to Night Sounds. Barry and Joe here. And who's inside the sandwich? It's Peter from the Danny Warhols. Look at hey. that. Hey. How's it going? Hey. Good. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, man. I know you've been really busy with uh, some new projects. Uh, and we wanted to bring you on and talk all about the wonderful new mysterious world of AI. Ooh. Yeah, dude, what's up with this video, man? Tell us all about it. Uh, I don't actually know a whole lot about like the whole what happened, but um, essentially we always kind of make videos in a similar way. We have a green screen in our studio and we shoot ourselves and then we put something in the background. Um, and this time the person that was helping us, us um, just suggested the, the AI do its thing it's kind of amazing what happens yeah it, it, it absolutely is. did its thing <laughs> yeah it really did i think we had to try and rein it in a little bit because you know, it dude it's really weird man isn't it yeah. weird it's a trip it's really weird um but it, i don't know it's it seems like a super fun art form um if you use it as an art form <laughs> Yeah. Right. It, exactly. <laughs> and you're not, you know, kind of exploiting it for that other other reasons. Um, no, but but the funny thing is when you were doing it, didn't you guys experience something that was that was a little weird about AI? If you try to rein it in, it becomes like a naughty child or something and it wants to yes. just throw in a bunch of crap and stuff into your into your video. Yes. <laughs> a, a fair amount of that. There was <laughs> uh yeah, it doesn't like to be uh reined in. I mean, yeah, dude. Neither it's like do a, I. It's like so. a petulant child. <laughs> <laughs> not you, it's, not you. The a the AI. The AI is just, and you know what's funny about it is, you've been in a band for a long time. You've had a lot of songs, a lot of music yeah. videos. You've, you know, the regamarole of sitting there and having twenty, twenty five people back there saying, "And action, then cut," and all the money that goes into it. And now yeah. your latest video is like. You probably hit render, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, maybe a little, little more difficult than that, but um, yeah. I mean, we got to have, we got to do some really super fun, you know, giant Sony lot videos, and then you know, some really low budget ones, and um, I don't know. This is just the continuation of just trying to make something that captures the spirit of the song and, and helps spread the news yeah and that song dude the summer of hate <laughs> very very relevant for today's it, times uh, unfortunately still relevant um yeah, yeah it's wild it's uh, turning into the fall of hate oh not yeah. not okay i'm sorry where did uh where did that come up where'd you come up with that with that one uh well the the original riff came from i just during the pandemic, you know, sitting around watching everything on the internet, on, you know, whatever Netflix or, and came across a documentary on the damned. And I was just like, I want to write a song like that. I want something cool, like cool, high energy, you know? And that was just what I came up with. Um, I don't think it particularly sounds like the damned, but uh, it was my first attempt. I'll get oh that. no, I don't think I, I. I just think it, you know, like the influence is there. It's yeah. it's harder. It's a little darker. You know, it's it's a little bit of a modification from from what we're normally used to. That's that's all. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the whole idea of the the record that it's off of is that we were trying to uh, every song starts with a riff as opposed to a chord change in a vocal melody. So it's like we were trying to do to push ourselves in a different direction and. You know, I kind of resisted it at first, but it's really, really fun writing riffs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why? Hey, wait. Why I, did you? Why did you resist it in the beginning? Because it's like Courtney and Brent were describing it as like we were going to make our our metal record, and I was like, I have no interest in that. But as soon as I kind of grasped the, it's just a kind of it's a riff that we turn into that we just make a dandy song out of metal riffs essentially you know as a starting point um yeah and as soon as i got 
just all it took is doing one and then then it's like they just started flowing and <laughs> I think, yeah i think i've got well it sounds it. like it sounds like that's a that's a real fun way to write though and something that was different is that like you yeah. know and that kind of invigorated the the new the new song the new album and you know all the things that that flowed from that definitely and you know you need that every once in a while it's like you, there's only so many things you can do with the same chords over and over again and exactly like, yeah but but no but no metal album we're not going to get like a judas priest cover album from you guys or <laughs> no it's, it's it's definitely nothing like that but i mean there's songs that they're harder and there's there's things that have some some definitely metal inspired riffs for sure and <laughs> well okay got the little dandy's twist on top of that and it's yeah turned into something well, uh, so you can you even play a metal metal riff on keyboards are you sitting there with the ding dong ding dong <laughs> uh, sure why not yeah why not that sounds hard to me you know well, I'm not keep gonna, winning. I'm gonna do that. Well, come on. I've I've seen metal songs played on an oboe before. I think yeah, you can yeah, yeah. figure it out on a keyboard. It's just <laughs> it's just notes played in a particular order, you know. So whatever. Well, you're you're playing a bunch of notes in order on tour. You're on yeah. tour. You're coming to L.A. Uh, and like it's in the right order. <laughs> you know you can get away with it when you're in on stage though because we're kind of not noticing right you can you nobody can... notices when we when we screw up ever do you guys <laughs> notice do you guys oh, we, look at each we other notice, and it'll ruin the show sometimes for us but nobody notices yeah yeah with low bar low bar expectations out there but uh wait, you got wait, a lot I, of I got it. Wait, I got a question though. Really? Did like after a show, do you like go backstage and you're like, Courtney, man, oh, I'm really sorry I missed the note on that one song, well, three not, songs into our set. It, I know it really screwed you up. <laughs> Does not, that happen? Really. No, I mean, everybody, we all do it all the time, but it's just like you, the, the more you play, the more you're good at covering up your mistakes <laughs> or correcting quickly. Or doing it twice and then it's on purpose, not a mistake. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. Right? <laughs> You're like, I'm just ripping, man. I'm just, you know, yeah. I'm improvising on stage. For sure. <laughs> so how's it going on tour? Are you guys having fun and messing up a lot? We are having a blast. This is this is this is a phenomenal tour. It's like us and the Black Angels, and then um, Die Star has been opening this first half of it, and it it's just the best group of people. Um, and the music's just, it's so good. The whole, the whole night. So I, I love it. when did you guys start? Did you guys, did was bumper shoot, uh, this last year? Was that like the start of the tour? Or was that in? No, the, no, no. That, no, was, that was a one off. Yeah, that was one off. Uh, we started just, uh, like, this is going to be the fourth show tonight. So, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. It's just, just starting up and down the Great. coast. Then you, uh, you're not ending in your hometown. You're, it's like in the middle. It's like somebody yeah. has to pay their rent on the first. So you got to. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then we fly to Texas and we do a couple shows and then we do Levitation Festival, which is always a treat. Oh, yeah. wait, where's that at? It's in Austin. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be fun. Big fun one. Okay, so tell us what's coming up next. Are you guys going to do more AI content? Are you let? Are you just going to let AI take over the band at this point? <laughs> um, I don't know. Send I, robots I, out on stage. I still want to be involved at this point. <laughs> Give me a couple more years. Maybe when I hit. <laughs> You know, well, you know, it's soon I think we're just going to have people like actually performing live in one location and then just holograms beamed out to all the different venues. And it's just going to be on stage and everyone yeah. that's that's going to be the next thing. That does not sound fun. I mean, as hard as, <laughs> as hard as touring can be, it's still like there's I don't know, you, you're just in t you meeting people and the fans and and just it's just real and and cool and important. So hopefully that doesn't go away completely. Oh, I hope so too. Uh, like, it, it, it'll it'll happen until they start being robots themselves and come up to you. Hello, <laughs> I love your music. 
You are <laughs> my favorite. You zero one zero one. Yeah. Well, well, Peter, thank you so much for coming on. Oh, Congratulations on doing the tour, man. The yeah. the AI is the the video's weird, and yeah. I love. Oh yeah, weird. check it out. It's so fun, though. It's so fun. It's good. It's good. Yeah. And it, yeah. it's so funny. The whole controversy. It's like about AI. It's like I don't know. We definitely had a, a few slightly nasty comments about it. Like what? Oh, just uh, people, I guess they think we took jobs away from somebody by using the AI, but huh. we probably just would have used found footage behind that us anyway. So what? it's, yeah, I don't know. There are, are they not a big comments? I think they're, I think they are. It's what they're all worked up about something that this is not. And yeah, yeah I'm sure AI will be used for nefarious purposes. But, but anything can be. Yeah, and will be. Um, and will be. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. Well, uh, uh, your concert won't be used for nefarious purposes. That's for sure. We can go there. <laughs> well, we can have so. fun. We can have fun at the show coming up. You're yeah. on tour. Great success. Thanks for coming on, Peter from the Dandy yeah. Warhol. Thank you. Yay.